Hello folks. It's going to be a bit of a quieter one today, so don't expect much in the way of actual music and things like that. Um, things have been going on in the house, so it's very, very busy at the moment. We've got nurses coming and going, got people coming and going, so I'm not sure how loud I can actually be without disturbing the sleep of somebody next door. As uh, most of you who've seen the previous videos know what's been going on around here, so no need to go into that. If you like what I do, the subscribe button is down below, and if you really like what I do, the Patreon button is also down below. This will not be as shouty a video as I thought it was going to be, mainly because of that reason. But I do want to shout, and please, please bear with me. I have a lot to say on this topic. I'm, um, frankly, kind of economically disgusted in what GW have been trying to pull over recent weeks, and it's really starting to grate on me, to the point that I'm not sure I can even justify this as a hobby anymore and that's saying a lot those of you who know me know how much i love this know how much i like doing this um aside from the teaching and aside from um all the marking and things like that all of you know you know what my hobby is and, and what i like to do away from the camera and the fact that that's slowly being eroded away is really bad and the other thing is if i'm being honest I'm not even sure Games Workshop really cares that they're losing people like me. I don't think it wants people like me. I think it wants people who are going to give them money no matter what, to be honest with you. And what we're going to get into today is the Leviathan box set. Now, bear in mind, this is an opinion of somebody who is going to get this box set at, at a, either a cut price or maybe even for free because of, of the channel and, 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 uh, and, and the relationships that I've built over the years with people in the industry. Um, so hopefully I can get a, a copy of this for free, but I'm going to be honest with you, uh, even I'm not that excited. And that should tell you a lot, because when I see prices like this, um, well, I've got a few points that I wanted to make before I go any further, before I start rambling on. The first thing is, you know, what's in the box and is it worth £150? Now, what I will say is, if we look at what's in the box on the on the screen in a moment, um, I'm just going to whack us up here. If we look at what's in the box, we have two nearly complete armies. We have two nearly complete armies that are essentially worth around seven seven hundred to a thousand points each. Bear in mind, if you're taking upgrades and things like that, that are, that are going to come out in the uh, in the obvious uh, in in the codexes that come late, coming later on. Not only that. These are brand new sculpts, and so I think that adds, if, if I'm being fair to GW, I think that adds a little bit onto the market value of what's in the box. The thing is, though, and this is what I have to, to say really on a, on, a, on a, shall we say, not stoic level, but on a, on a hmm, meaning level. The people who decide how much Games Workshop's products are worth are Games Workshop. That is it. That is genuinely... Who, those are the people who decide how much these models are worth. There are no real cut and dry comparisons you can make in this situation because, as most of us know, GW, as a big company, as a, as a big gaming company, they do the best models on the market. I don't think that's up for debate. I'm sure your 3D printer could probably do run them close, and one or two models from one or two other, other people could probably run them close. But as an entire product range... The quality of Games Workshop sculpts are basically the best on the market. So they will always be charging a premium based on what the market is worth. But when you see just what you get with certain other box sets, where you get entire armies in a box, or you know, far, 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 far more economically manageable, economically manageable box sets, ready to go, strictly ready to go. Yeah, you have people from from War Machine, Heroes of War, things like that, who are all. They're ready to go right out of the box. There's a full army for you, and it is a fraction of the cost of what you're getting in this box set. Now, if we are taking Games Workshop's actual pricing and value at face value, and we say, let's just say that their their economics are spot on, right? Let's just say that Games Workshop are spot on in that. Let's be honest. When you go and buy this Terminator squad, it will be thirty five pounds, thirty five English pounds in a box. Okay. Those five Terminators are £35. So when you're looking at how much things are worth in the box set, yes, this box set is an incredibly good deal if we are looking at it from the Games Workshop standpoint. The problem is 
most other hobbies do not cost as much as Games Workshop already. Okay. If you want a, a, a AAA video game, I've just bought one myself in Diablo Six. I'm sorry, in, in Diablo Four, it was it was fifty pounds, well fifty five pounds. Okay, that's for a game that I'm going to devote hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours to over the next couple of couple of years, maybe thousands, because it's a game that I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Right. Well, let's take a a box set of Space Marines. Right, thirty five pounds. And then we add in a, a, a character to that. So to get it up to the £60 mark. How long am I going to spend making those models? About maybe 20 hours, 30 hours. Yeah. And then I'm done. I'm going to play with them, sure. But I'm, but I'm basically done. I, I basically got what I wanted out of them. Now I've got these models that I can use in my games. And you can get lots of time and uh, sink and energy out of your games as well. But that's more of a gestalt thing. That's more of your entire army, your entire collection thing, you know. So I argue that the actual value of your models stops once you've completed them. Once you've built them and you've painted them, their real market value stops being a value, okay. Um, people will want to buy them for different reasons on eBay, of course, mostly gaming reasons. But in all honesty, um, I would say about 10-20% to of the value of your models is tied up in its power on the tabletop. The rest of it is painting it and putting it together and enjoying doing that process. You know, which is why a hell of a lot of the biggest yeah, yeah, uh, uh, channels on YouTube, uh, I used to think that they were law channels in terms of Warhammer. They're not. They're painting channels. And that's why. Because most of the most of the value of your box set is tied up in you building and painting the models. So, when you look at the actual cost of the Warhammer hobby compared to other more expensive hobbies, like gaming, for instance, they pale in comparison. You are paying a premium, an absolute premium, for your models already. So, whilst £150 may seem a good deal to us in the UK, let's be honest. Games Workshop decide the value of something. It's like me selling you a car, okay? But I decide how much that car is worth. I decide that my Ford Fiesta, my 10, 15 year old Ford Fiesta, is worth £300,000. Okay? You want to buy my Ford Fiesta because you're a car collector of vintage cars. Especially run down rubbish ones like mine. And so I say, well I want £300,000 for it, that's what it's worth. And you say, well that's, that's, that, and you say to me, let's just say, you wouldn't say this, but let's just say you say, okay. Fair enough, you get to decide how much your car is worth, no problem, it's worth £300,000 then. I still don't really want to spend £300,000. And then I say, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. How about I sell you two Ford Fiestas, right? Two Ford Fiestas for £200,000. For both of them, all combined. You'd say, wow, that's a good deal. Let me get in on that, I'm going to buy those, right? In reality though, that Ford Fiesta is worth what? Five grand. One Ford Fiesta is worth five thousand pounds. I've just sold you two for two hundred thousand pounds, because I got to decide how much my Ford Fiesta was worth. That is the economics of Games Workshop's main big box sets, and that's why I don't really put much stock in the fact that one hundred and fifty pounds can be seen as a saving when you look at how much everything else in the box is worth. Yes, that is true, but who decides on the worth? Games Workshop. And that's before we get into these prices here. So 200 euros is basically the market value. But have you ever noticed that Games Workshop don't ever... Like 150 pounds does not equal 200 euros. It doesn't. Now, let, me just, let me just go on here for, for a second. Let me just tell you how much, how much it is. So 100, 150 pounds in euros. Let me see how much that is. It's 170 euros, give or take. Give or take, 170 euros. But Games Workshop have just decided to add another 30, 30 euros onto that. Why? Who knows? Who knows? And I'm telling you now, people will, will come and they will defend this and they will say, hey, well, hang on a second. Hang on just a second. You're not talking about, you know, things like shipping costs and rent and things like that that are on the continent. But here's the thing. Uh, the, the UK is a premium place to buy and sell businesses. To actually run a business in the UK, it is far more expensive than running a business in certain countries in the EU. Not only that, but if you're shipping from another place in the EU, which you should be, right, 
after Brexit, they knew Brexit was coming, they should be having warehouses stocked in the EU. If you're shipping from one place in the EU to the other, there is a, there is a, there are free laws getting you from one place to the other. Getting it in and out of the UK, that's a problem because we are no longer in the EU. This is not a political argument, that's just how it is, right? There are tariffs involved, there are all those other things involved. So if anything, we should be paying more if we're getting stuff from other places in the, in the EU. The EU should not be eating a 30, a 30 euro hike on their prices. That box set should be worth 170 euros. 150 pounds and 170 euros. Let's go to the Americans, though. Let's go to the Americans. I know, I know a lot of the Americans are squeeing in the comments. So, 150 pounds in dollars. Let's do this, shall we? 190 euro, and 190 dollars. So... £150 is worth $190, and yet you are paying $250 for your box set. Yeah. Yeah. I just... <laughs> I, I, the, the, the greed is beyond, pale, is beyond the pale. We know they build and manufacture their goods in the US as well, right? I think it's in Tennessee. Games Workshop build and manufacture their stuff in Tennessee, in the in the US. So, there are no tariffs involved. There's nothing like that. There's the, the, they're not shipping over. I think a lot, what a lot of people think is that because it's a UK company, is that they make all of their models in the UK and then they ship them to wherever you are. That is not true. That is categorically not true. Wherever you are, that's where they make the models. Whatever continent you are on, that's where they make the models and that's where they ship ship them to. Right. Um, there are certain part. There are certain models, like Leviathan, for instance, will be made wherever, whenever it goes on general sale. It will be made wherever it, wherever it goes. Right? It will be made wherever that is. Um, there are certain countries that are exempt from that. You know, obviously places in Asia and Australia. Unfortunately, you guys eat a, a huge cost because the reason why Australian prices are so high is because most of the time Games Workshop are shipping things over there. But I think every single Australian customer. Outer Circle being one, and other people that I know, all the friends that I know from, from Down Under, will say, hey, we're from Australia. We know we're going to have to pay more than the £150 that a British person pays, because we're on the other side of the world, and there's no problem in that. The problem is, is that that's not, what, that's not what's greedy, okay? What's greedy is, is that they're, they're playing the markup, and then Games Workshop are getting their extra cut in, because that's what they do. We've seen it now with this box set, with the, with the Americans, okay? 250 bucks 250 bucks that is a 60 to 70 dollar hike on what you should be paying for the same box set because there are no tariff charges there are no there are no um, um grease uh, palms that needs to be greased to get the to get the product to you because you're getting the product from a warehouse in the u.s we're not sending it to you from good old blighty it's in the u.s you should be getting the box set for $190. 200 at a push. But $190 should be the price of the Leviathan box set in the in the US. But it's not. It's 250 Why? Because of sheer ass fucking greed. That's why. That's why. Okay. Australians will get this and more. It will cost this and more. I'm telling you now. This this will not be the final price in Australia. It may be a, a, a placeholder price for now. That will not be the final price in Australia. You'll be paying a premium. So no, the price of this box set isn't good. And this is also the most expensive box set, entry-level box set ever released in our hobby. Ever. The most expensive entry-level box set ever created. Is that something really to celebrate? I don't think it is. I honestly don't think it is. I think Games Workshop is showing you who they want in the hobby. They want rich whales and scalpers. Let's get into the scalpers, shall we? So this is all very, very nice. It, it, it's when you can pre-order your Leviathan box set. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Let's look at the bottom, shall we? Available while stocks last. Limited quantity per order. The order right now is one or two per person. 
I think it's two per person. You're allowed two. Per, per place per person, right? But available while stocks last. That is a... Okay, so... We've said on this channel before the arguments against false rarity. The arguments against all of the nonsense that comes with false rarity. Games Workshop could make this box set forever if they wanted to. And make sure that everybody had one on day one. They could make sure that even if you didn't get one on day one, that it was sold out, you would get one very quickly because they're making them constantly. They are making them constantly all the time. They are going to... Do you remember those days in third edition when you could get the starter box set five years in, into, the, into the lifespan of that box set? At the end of third edition, you could still get the, 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 the Black Templar box. The big John Blanche Black Templar box. You could get that all the way up till fourth edition. Not anymore. Because this box set will only be available while stocks last. They've made a certain amount of amount of these boxes. They're going to be sold. And if you don't get one, tough tits. Tough tits. You don't get one. You should have been quicker in giving us your money. You should have been quicker. Tough. You missed out. You don't get this box set. Do you know who does get the box set? Scalpers. Scalpers. People who come on and buy these in bulk order, and they will get past Games, Work Games Workshop systems. They will get past them, because they're terrible, and they don't care. They will get past them. And when they get past them, do you know what you'll see on eBay? You will see this £150 box set going on eBay for £500. And that is a conservative estimate. £500. That's what you're going to see the, the Leviathan box set going for, unopened, on eBay. They don't care about you guys. They don't care about you. This was the edition where we were sitting there thinking maybe they're going to change. Maybe things are going to go our way. Maybe things, maybe they've listened to us. Maybe they've gone, hey, do you know what? This isn't right. We're going to make sure that we're going to get, you know, that, that you guys actually have, have access to your models from now on. We're going to be customer facing. We're going to give the customer what they want. And that's the Leviathan box set because it's a cool box set. But they haven't done that. It's available while stocks last. That means there is a limited stock. And once they're gone, they're gone. Once they are gone, they are gone. Listen, Games Workshop, you're not a band, okay? You're not adding dates to a place while stocks last. You could make these forever if you wanted to. Literally. You are choosing to feed scalpers. You are making that conscious choice. And you're doing it to line your own pockets because you don't give a flying shit about your customers, your customer base, or the people who are making your hobby. I strongly advise most of you, if you can get this box at a good price, get it. But do not feed into the scalpers. If you need to, go elsewhere. Every single one of these models will come out on their own eventually. So if you want one thing from the box set or two things from the box set, Here's some eye candy for you. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, if you want some good stuff from the box set, wait until it comes out in, in, in a single in, in, in a single branch, okay? Wait until it comes out in its own little box set. Or a combat patrol comes out. Don't fall for this. If you don't get what if you don't get a Leviathan box set, move on, man. Go and play another game. Vote with your wallet, go elsewhere. If it really bothers you. Because it really bothers me. That's why I'm going to Hail Caesar and Heroes of War and all these other games. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to start playing specialist games with my friends. Um, I'll play Tenth Edition, but I'm not. I, I and I'll get this box set because thankfully I can get it, you know, for a good price or free. But I'm telling you now, like, this is. I'm getting it so I can unbox it on the channel. I can, you know, but there's not really that much I can use it for, you know. But I'm I'm getting it because I want to unbox it on the channel. I want you guys to see what's in it and whether I think it's worth it or not. There's one or two things in there that I want, like the characters and stuff. But the characters will come out on their own. If I didn't get one, it, w it wouldn't really bother me that much. The characters will come out on their own eventually. You know? Um, I just... I advise you to walk away. It, it, if, if this has really annoyed you to the point that you're thinking, hmm, I'm not sure if I want to support this, then don't. Then don't. Vote with your wallet, walk away. This may be me pissing into the wind. This may be rant ranting against the inevitable, that people are going to buy it anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't mean I have to support it, though. 
You know, I can literally walk away and go, do you know what? No, I'm, I'm not supporting this. I'm not having this. It's not for me. It is not for me, guys. And, um... Again, it's easily avoidable. Just make the box set until you run out of demand and then stop making the box set. There you go. Job done. You're cutting your nose off to spite your face. You are supporting people taking, adv taking advantage of your, of your fan base. I've never known a company like this. I have never known a company like, thi like this. You are literally supporting people who take advantage of your fan base. Shame on you. And I'm done. I love you a long time. I will speak to you tomorrow for some more Hobby Nightmares. It should be an extra long one tomorrow. I know you guys like your long form content. So, I'll be on there tomorrow with some more Hobby Nightmares. I love you a long time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And hopefully, hopefully, we can get our hobby back someday. But it's not today. See ya.